My name is Ben Harrower. I'm the director of BH Wildlife Consultancy. My partner Katie and I run the business from Edinburgh, although we cover the whole of the UK with personnel north of the border and south of the border. Wildlife Census is our main area of work, specialising in using drone technology to census wildlife populations. And it's only really now where the thermal imagery has got good enough on a drone platform to census wildlife populations, especially in woodland where other census methods have found it very difficult. Our primary work is herbivores that impact woodland or other natural assets. In the past year, we've surveyed six species of deer, the native roe deer, the native red deer, and the four non-natives, sika deer, Chinese water deer, muntjac, and fallow deer. We also have surveyed feral goats, wild boar, and even wallabies on the Isle of Man. We're currently expanding our operations in Europe, where we're going to have an opportunity to count wolves in some of the projects. The imagery from the cameras is detailed enough for us to break down male, female and often calf ratio and that understanding in population dynamics lets us understand what is recruited into that population on an annual basis and that really helps inform the landowner or the client as to what's happening with that wildlife population. So the models that we operate all have three cameras. The top right here we have the wide angle lens, the bottom right we have the thermal imagery sensor and the bottom left is the optical zoom. It's, it's a very powerful optical zoom and it's also got a hybrid uh, digital, which means it can be 160 times in and pick up deer and animals at over a kilometre away, sometimes even two in perfect conditions. And that allows us to be really far away and, and observe the animals in their natural behaviour and environment with very little disturbance. So I'm just going to put this drone down ready for the flight point. Given this Atlantic rainforest here, um, I'm expecting Sika in the woods, maybe red deer on the open hill, but we'll see what we get once we uh, get the drone in the air. From the flight point, we scan between wide angle and thermal cameras in a methodical fashion to cover that flight point zone. Once uh, heat's detected, we then zoom into that heat source and identify what it is. So I found two deer here a red deer hind and last year's calf. If it's a target species or a species of interest, it's geo-referenced, date and time stamped. We then plot that on a map as we go. And the end product essentially is a, is a map showing the distribution and density of the species. Um, it's a very visual way to collect um, data and present it. You can even take it a step further and use 3D modelling. You can heat map the density and distribution as well. And then obviously if it's a very sensitive species or very rare species, you, you can pinpoint where that animal is. And um, the combination of the thermal imagery census, the imagery and the mapping really informs how to help that species or manage that species on the ground. The way our methodology works, we can cover large areas quickly. And then when you add in the element that there's multiple drones and multiple operators all in the same live tablet mapping system, you can build this very accurate picture live as you go through the landscape. And it really builds confidence and reassurance that we're not undercounting or double counting. Typically we use vehicle access to and operate from the vehicle where access tracks allow, but often we'll be on foot using rucksacks, we use quad bikes, and we also use boats which allow access along shorelines or large locks. So we use almost every method of transport we can to get round the flight points efficiently and quickly. The vast bulk of our surveys start to take place from autumn when the leaves start falling off the trees and the cover starts dropping. So the ideal conditions for doing um, a drone survey might not be what everyone initially thinks. Uh, the sun is probably our worst constraint as we're using thermal imagery as the key technology to find the heat source. And although today's summer conditions aren't ideal, the principles remain the same. We're licensed to fly at night, and that helps with visibility, especially when we're dealing with nocturnal animals. The UK has got quite busy skies compared to a lot of other countries. We work around these by liaising with the relevant bodies. We then produce a risk assessment and method statement uh, tailored for that one site. And this covers every aspect when drone flying. So, uh, weathers, local hospitals, loan working, access points and the restrictions themselves. Whilst drone surveys are our primary service that we provide, we also do bird surveys using the traditional methods. 
Uh, we also do herbivore impact assessment and as well freshwater and aquatic surveys uh, using underwater drones. The benefits of our approach is that it provides an indisputable minimum evidence-based count of a wildlife population. With the images and the mapping tool we can map out large area confidently and with accuracy and when you compare it to other methods they, they all have varying confidence levels so being able to provide a landowner or a client with a minimum population backed with images is a very powerful product.